Hello, it's me again. This is some important information that I think people should know. You know, I just connected the dots about this tonight and everything. And it has to do with the whole HAARP system, you know, the heart and everything. The thing is, there are two incidents that happened here in Hawaii. One, on October 15, 2006, there was an earthquake that caused a major blackout on this island. It was a really big earthquake. Not really, well, not really big in a sense. Like, I remember it woke me up. I felt it and everything. And this was at like five in the morning. I heard my bookshelf like shaking. like, <laughs> And then I remember I put on the TV and then like no sooner than like 15 seconds after I put the TV on, boom, all the power went out. And like we were out of power in a blackout for like several hours that day. And like it took almost like several days for the entire island, I believe, to get back online in terms of power there was that incident then December 27th 2008 this was like Obama was here vacationing that time and everything and he was without power for 12 hours because that time this is interesting what happened was that day I remember like my friend and like I was hanging out with my friends like they were here at this house and like my friend was having an argument with his girlfriend at the time and then he actually stormed off like in a rage like you know he was upset and everything he walked down the hill from my house and everything then all of a sudden it started storming cloud burst type like thunder and lightning and we're like oh my god we gotta go get him like he's in the rain we we're driving down after we picked him up we we're going like i had to go like drive around like there's this like over here in hawaii there's a road down there in like you know shopping center area and everything and we drove like I remember I went to the bottom of the hill. Then I remember seeing a lightning flash. Then the power went out. All the street lights and everything. I was like, hmm, that's weird. And everything. And then the power came back on. Then we're driving again. There's this road that goes behind the old wholesome bakery here in Hawaii and everything. We're driving. You can see all the way up into the mountains. There's this valley, Waimalu Valley and everything. And then all of a sudden, I actually saw the lightning bolt hit somewhere in the mountains. And that's where they have transmission lines. It hit that, it hit somewhere in the mountains, and boom, the power went out again. And then boom, we had another huge blackout. And that was on December 27, 2008. You can Google and research these. The Hawaii earthquake in 06 and Hawaii blackout 2008. These two things happened. Like, one of them was caused by an earthquake. One of them was caused by a thunderstorm. Like, you know, connect the dots. Like, you know, there's a some sort of like harp substation or receiver here in Hawaii. I know they have like satellite dishes out Wahiawa side, like, you know, by Wheeler Air Force Base and whatnot, like military's big here in Hawaii. And I'm just connecting the dots, just realizing it now. Look, an earthquake causes a massive blackout. Then you have a thunderstorm, lightning causing a massive blackout. Like the science behind, behind harp, all that Tesla coil stuff and everything. And like the, you know, the scalar waves, like heating up the ionosphere, you know, creating earthquakes, all that real science behind it. Like, you know, put it all together. Like, you know, I know they used to do chemicals weapon testing on the Big Island. My grandma mentioned that to me. Paniava Forest, they used to do chemical weapons testing. And then here in Hawaii, like Makua Valley used to be a artillery training round. Like, you know, they were doing weapons testing. They tested the harp here in Hawaii. You know, like, it makes sense, you know, if you think about it. And like, look at what's going on now. Like earthquakes, like you had the Indonesia tsunami, you had America, Samoa got hit and everything. Then Haiti, all these things, like, you know, add it all up. And I saw, I actually seen those documents that came out today about, like, you know, the whole weather modification stuff and like harp. They talk about harp, chemtrails, the works, you know. I've seen chemtrails here in Hawaii before last year. I haven't really seen them recently, but. This is bizarre stuff, you know, like more than bizarre stuff, like connect the dots, people. This is a real weapon and they tested it here. They tested it here in Hawaii. Okay, well, that's all I have to say for now. Like, you know, like no matter what, don't fear, you know, like right now, all these things that are going on. The system is in fear. They're going nuts. They don't know what's going on. They cannot control us anymore because people are aware. People are waking up. They're waking up to the truth, you know, like no more mind control, no more lies, no more illusion, you know, this reality, like, you know, like maybe this all, this is all a dream, a manifestation, but you know, like I want to manifest something beautiful, you know, I want to be something, you know, good, you know, be something holy, be something pure, be something, you know, be love, 
be loved. That's what the key is, you know. Like, it's not about, like, we have to fight them or anything, you know. But we have to be aware. We have to take a stand. We have to make our voices heard. You know, people need to know. They need to be aware. They need to be aware. You know, that's the key. Awareness. And then, like, you know, once you have that awareness... You know that nothing in this world can hurt you. Nothing in this world. They cannot stop you. You know, you don't have to fight them or anything. They have no power. If you don't have any fear, they have no power over you. Don't fear them, you know. We can turn this around. There's still time. There's people like you, me, all of us together. You know, we can do this. You know, before, like, it's, like, it's crazy what's going on. You know, cyclones in Australia. And then snowstorms on the mainland. You think it's like coincidence? No. No, something big is happening here. People, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, you know. Wake up. Stand your ground. Let your voice be heard, you know. Let your voice be heard. People need to know. That's all for now. I gotta go. Be love. Bye.